So it's quite simple. I'm gonna find where the bends stop. And actually the bend kinda goes above this. That's good. Put it right there. Which is about a quarter inch from the uh, the teardrop mounts. <clears throat> These lines are going to serve as my guides. So I may have a change of plan here. I'm actually thinking now that I'm looking at it, it's the pad really isn't bent. Let me go grab a screen. See how bad this is. Oh wow. It's really not that bad. Maybe I should just hit this in and just put a strut here, another flat piece of metal, and I'll, I'll weld it lengthwise because this, this is actually all right. It's not, it's not bent. It's just, it's collapsed on one side. Hmm. Let me try something here. Worst case scenario, I just cut it off. Be done with it. Now, let's see what that does. <clears throat> Okay, so the pad is moving. It is moving and it's almost flat now. So, I think I just might do that. I might get another hammer on this side just to absorb some of that. And I'm gonna finish straightening this. This will stay collapsed. I'm not really worried about that. However, I might try and put a screwdriver in there, pop it out a little. I don't know. We'll see. It's too bad that I don't have any holes here. Because then I would just stick something in there and, and hit that out. Straighten that. I could just heat it up. But I don't want to fatigue the metal. And you got a piece of wood in there. <clears throat> I'm not really sure why there's a piece of wood in there, but it's there. Let me see if I could just work the metal a little bit. Well, it's straight now. can't tell that way let's see mm, that's straight yeah wow well that's it it the pad is straight now. All right, the pad's straight. It's in line with the other one at the bottom. So 
So, yeah, it's a little collapsed right here. And that does pose a, a stress point. However, what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to put a brace here and extend it, extend it higher. And I don't want to weld here. And there's a specific reason for that. These racks need to need to be able to twist a little bit, okay? It needs to transfer the load. So if you were to weld it here, weld it here, here, and here, it would actually crack here, okay? Because this is now going to be the weakest point. What I'm going to do is what I'm going to, I'm going to put the plate here and I'm going to weld it lengthwise. And what that's going to do is it's going to, it, it, it's going to, this leg right here is now going to attach itself to a piece of, of, of straight iron. And that's going to, that's going to reinforce this whole leg here. So if you were to just weld it here and just weld it here, see what would happen was they would crack here because now this is the load bearing here and those are short welds. There's strength in welds, but it has to be able, it has to be able to transfer the energy, okay? So when you weld something like this, and this goes the same with the frame, if you're welding a truck frame, or if you're if you're putting a roll cage or something like that it would be the same you want to weld lengthwise with the frame so what happens is it can actually transfer that motion because frames twist and bend now if you're doing a, a roll cage i haven't done one but i'm I'm guessing that the same principle applies. You want it to transfer the energy. You don't want it to be boxed in one area. And now you have all this weight boxed in in this area. You want to sandwich it. Yes, you want to sandwich it. And you want to weld it lengthwise. But you don't want to weld it vertically. Because then that's the point. That's the point where the weight transfer ends. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to weld it here, I'm going to weld it here, and I'm going to weld it to the foot. And that's it. And we're going to see, um, we're going to see what happens there. Now there is one more measurement I have to take. I have to take the measurement of this top beam, and I have to compare it with the bottom beam. Because you don't want one foot shorter than the other. So that's what I'm going to do now. So we have <clears throat> six and fifteen sixteenths. Six and fifteen sixteenths. Let's go to the bottom. Six and fifteen sixteen. So those are level and they're even and they're flat right now. So that's it. This one's ready to be welded. I'm gonna see if I can find a plate and get back with y'all. Not my best, but it'll hold. I don't know if you can all can see that. But anyways, um, one down.
three to go. I have to check that other foot. The other foot's not bent, so. I got to, uh, I got to do some measuring and hopefully I can straighten out those other ones and just put a piece of uh, hot roll in its place, some flat stock, so, um, yeah. So that's it, just, I'm rinsing and repeating, so it is what it is. Thanks.